Hello and welcome to tutorial 20. This is a new main menu of Minecraft. You may not really recognize this anymore because it looks quite different. This is because I'm on Minecraft 1.17, um, which is a version that was released five days ago. So this is a very new version of Minecraft. And things here are a little bit different. I'm not going to talk about the changes, but um, if you're interested, you can always find out what's new in 1.17 and how it's different from 1.16. But anyhow, we're going to be playing on this newer version now that it's out and released. Um, we can still open old worlds on this version though, so let's see. So I can open tutorial final, despite it being on an older version. Remember that you can always open older worlds on newer versions, but not the other way around. If you do it the other way around, it will corrupt. So be careful which way you do it. There are quite a few changes in this version, and we might encounter a few as we go. Um, but for now, remember that what happened last time was that we got one in nine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for uh, the villagers to go to sleep. And when they do, I'm going to get rid of one of them. So it's a little merciless, but at this point, I really can't do anything else about it. So um, do I have any gold here? Yeah, I do. Okay. You know, I'm, I might as well make a clock and put that on me. So the recipe for clock, for gold, surrounding a glowstone, that's a clock. And basically what a clock allows you to do is it will allow you to tell the time. So instead of going outside and checking the time, I can just look at this. So the sun is pointing almost straight up. That means it's um, the middle of the day. So morning is like here. And then if it's almost sunset, it will point there. And at the nighttime, the moon is pointing straight up. It will, um, means it's about midnight and uh, so and so on. You don't need to understand too much about how to use a clock. It's pretty intuitive once you see it. And uh, here I have two more um, babies, which means that when I wasn't looking, another baby got created. That's pretty impressive. I didn't know that they are making so many of these guys. Let me get my thing out. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Got two more. Um, do I have any unemployed people here? No, I don't think so. Anyways. Alright, are you guys gonna, um, do this or not? Hello? Okay, am I still waiting for any trades? Maybe that one. I don't know. Let me see if I can get this cartographer, okay. That worked. You know what I might do right now? Oh, I don't have any unemployed people, so it's not something I can do. I was about to say something, never mind. Uh, and you are out again, of course. Um, oh, we do. Is this unemployed? Oh, one of the uh, babies grew up. Now we only have one baby. Okay, you know what? We can do this right now. Okay, here's the. Huh? Did two more babies get created? Yeah, I think two more of them got created. We actually have one more unemployed. Our total villager count is actually 15 now. Oh my god. 15. And this is going down to... Sorry, 14, I think. Yeah, four... Yeah, we have 14 villagers. Um, and five remaining beds, I believe. Uh, two are babies, one is unemployed. Now uh, one of them is unemployed. Wait, what? I'm so confused. It's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, we have two babies. Um, that guy that was unemployed before, I'm going to make him into somebody. I'm going to make him into a... Hey, can you stand out of the way, please? Thank you. Oh my god. Guys, out of the way. I need to, I need to put something here. Alright. And so that unemployed guy can become one of these guys. Um, okay. 
So I know we don't usually use food, so but in order to cycle him up, we kind of had to do this. So let's just buy some stew. And I don't really need any of these. And then you can, okay, now we can buy some chicken. I'm cycling up a butcher to Oh, more babies. Okay. My bread is really efficient. I'll do a head count at night time when they're sleeping. But there's much more babies than I saw. Here's another unemployed. I'll figure it out at night time. But um that was a butcher. Where's the butcher? Hello? Still here? Okay, level three, that's good. I guess I'll just keep buying that. But he's out, that's fine. We'll just let this happen. Now chicken obviously isn't really what I'm looking for right now, but it's fine. Also, um, yeah, I won't, I won't do any sales right now, but, um, you okay, butcher? Where's the butcher? <coughs> I don't think they're going to be refreshing today. I'll check the cartographer. Okay, ready to buy again. All right, let's do this. And I probably need to buy more glass now. Yeah, I need to buy more glass now. I'll grab some of that. It's just two librarians. I'll buy one from you and one from you. Thank you. And I probably won't have to buy for a while now. I have, yeah. Okay. Are you refreshing Mr. Butch? No. Whatever. Okay. It's almost night time. Oh, they're sleeping. Great. I'll do a head count now. I think I'm actually going to put unemployed adults and babies together because it doesn't really matter to separate them, in my opinion. But when they're sleeping, I can take a look. So there is... What is this butter? Level 3, right? Okay. Um, Alright, so you go back to sleep. Hello? I think he'll go back to sleep in a little bit. I'll let him do his thing. But, um, okay, so farmer. So, first of all, how many are there? Okay, can we, um, it's fine. I'm getting rid of this cleric, though. That's what's new today. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of this cleric, that one. So this is the one that was um, very mean to me before. So I'm just going to try and push him into this boat. But he fell back down asleep. And this guy also went asleep. Alright, just can, you, can we go into this boat for a bit? No? Okay. All right. What if I destroy the this? What if I destroy the bed that you were on? Now can you go into the boat? Yeah, there you go. 
Nice. All right, so I'm going to take this particular. Oh no. I forgot this shovel is way too efficient. Sorry, I need to put some of this back. What was it before? Like this, right? Da 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 da. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could technically dig out this path. We probably don't need that anymore. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave it like this now, instead of whatever it was before. I'm just changing the landscape slightly. Um, I think I'll cut down that tree. Is this it? Is this the bottom of the tree? Yeah. So now we have this entrance way. Um, that is, this looks a lot better to me. All right. Okay. Good. And everybody is also asleep. Is asleep, so I don't think it's an issue. What went here? Oh, that was a boat. Okay, I'll put that here for now. Um, I don't know, extra sticks. Guess I can just go in here for now. Um, so the reason I did this is so that I can make them go through. Technically, yeah, I probably need to get rid of those two. All right. All right, let's go out for a little stroll, huh? Mr. Very Unpleasant Cleric, that was causing so much trouble to me. You won't stand for too long today. Alright, let's just replace all the damage we've done. This was here. This was here. And then this torch was here. Alright, replace everything. Good. So yeah, the room itself is back to where it was. Let's just go out and check what it looks like from the outside. That looks okay. Not too much of a problem. Um, and we're just going to take this villager on a stroll. Away from the other villagers. Does it need to be too far? It just needs to be away from the other villagers. And because this villager is not willing to trade gold with me i'm very not happy about it so i'm going to assassinate him and i don't want to do it uh, um, at daytime where the other villagers are watching i also don't want to do it too close to the village or inside the villager house because then the other villagers might know i don't want them to know because if they know they're going to get angry at me and raise their prices which is not practical for me at all so even though it's cruel i'm going to take him out into the open field where nobody can be watching him and nobody will know that I'm the one who did it where nobody will suspect a thing and I'm gonna assassinate him right here goodbye and we are done so I think we should do our head count right now I just want to get rid of him first because I didn't want to include this villager because I know I don't want him now the main reason why I did this is because um, the brewing stand. Um, if I wanted to use another bin and keep this ori original useless one, then I had to make um, a third brewing stand. But that means I will be out of blaze rod and won't have enough blaze rods for everything I need right now. And I, instead of trying to go back to base to grab blaze rod, which is quite a hassle, I just decided to get rid of one of these guys. Like so. And let's go back in. Let's do a head count now. Um, so, how many villagers are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 villagers in total, and there are 19 beds, and that means 6 of them are not occupied. So this one, this one, this one. No, this one's occupied. Sorry, so this one's not occupied, that one's not occupied, this one is occupied, and so is that one, this one, and that one. All of these are occupied. It's these ones that are not occupied. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then those two. Yeah, so it is. Six remaining beds. 
So we have a Fletcher, a cartographer, a fisherman, two farmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there should be two babies, maybe an one. Hello? Go back to sleep. So we have a butcher, unemployed, unemployed, baby. That one grew up. So there is there are three babies, that's right. So babies and unemployed seems to be three right now. That's Mason, Farmer. Okay. Everything else. These guys look employed. So I do have two farmers. A cartographer, a cleric. Um, well, two clerics. Well, no, not anymore. I'm getting rid of a cleric. So that cleric has to go. So there aren't actually two clerics. There's one. That's why. I looked a little bit strange. Let's try this again. So this is farmer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right, right, right. Uh, and then there are three. Yeah, okay. So farmer, farmer, librarian, librarian. Far librarian, librarian, farmer, farmer, and then. Butcher, Mason, Fisherman, Butcher, Mason, Fisherman, it should be Cleric, Cartographer, Fletcher, so Fletcher, Cleric, Cartographer, that's right, all right, good. Nothing is out of order. Um, and then we obviously have three of these guys, which are fine. Um, I'm going to get rid of the, these brooms. Nah, I'll keep them. It's fine. So now I'm passing the night because I finished my head count and I know that everything is working properly. So one of them is going to walk here and become my new cleric, which is exactly what I wanted. You are going to now help me out, and pr most uh, and if everything goes properly, you are not going to one third me. All right, let's grab some more gold. Okay. I have way too much wood. Let me sell like maybe one one bit. Where is the wood? Wood guy, okay, right here. I'm just selling one emerald worth, that's it. Nothing fancy. And now I'm just waiting for a refresh on the cartographer and on this cleric and I'm hopefully not going to be one in twenty three. If I am, whatever. Um but hopefully I'm not. I'll sell some of these to the cleric, to this other cleric, who I know um, can also buy gold. Oh, I'm also waiting on the, I just realized I'm also waiting on this guy. Uh, okay, nobody wants to refresh. How's this? How is this doing? I mean, it is early morning. Okay, all right. Here's one, and here's one more. And let's see if the magic happens. Please do not one in 27 me. Okay, so this one does sell pearls. So we are fine. We did not get one in 27. Um, I'm just going to dump the remaining gold on this guy. Because, why not? Mm, and we are going to buy pearls. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. 
That was a waste of pearls. I should have waited for a discount. Oh well. Uh, sorry, waste of emeralds is what I meant. Okay, this guy is a master now though. Let's write that in. That's one less unemployed adult, of course. Um, <sighs> Alright. I have like one gold left. Let's put it in here. Um, I guess I'm done cycling this one. I'm waiting for this one though. I'm waiting for this cleric and I'm waiting for... Oh, these guys are already done. I guess I'll buy some. Also, I think I have all the pearls I need to do make my stuff. So let's actually do that right now first. So we got our two ender chests back through the crafting recipe. Um, and these remaining ones will be used to open the end. Um, let me see if this dude wants to help out. Oh, sorry, I was trying to sell this, right, but I kind of forgot about it. That's right. Okay, you're gonna sell. I'm still waiting for your pearls, which you're not giving me, so that's sad. Oh, you're selling again. Alright. I guess I'll have to buy after this. I probably, yeah, I probably should be buying right after this. Yes, I'm gonna buy some glass. Maybe even buy two, two glass twice, depending on how much I need. I think once is fine for the time being. That's all the glass I have. Did I did I sell? Yeah, I did. All right, glass. Okay. Um, let's see. You are. I need more chicken from you. Okay, you good? Almost. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's not gonna help. And I have lots of chicken here. Lots and lots of chicken. It's fine. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. I, I just realized I don't have a lot of arrows on me. No spectral arrows are great, but I think I'm going to use regular arrows just because they are more abundant. Um, where's the guy that sells arrows? You're right here, okay. I'm gonna buy as many arrows as you'll give me, okay? Boom. Okay, three stacks. Should be good. I don't actually need three stacks. I need one stack. But thanks. <laughs> um, okay, that's out of the way. What else do I need to do? Did you refresh? Okay. Good. All right, and we got you two masters. Okay, a butcher is a master now, and so I can finally sell some stuff to him. This is what I'm talking about. In case you're wondering, that's why I had all this here because I know that this dude sells. Um, you know what, I'll keep this in the barrel, just because, I'm, I'll keep that in the barrel because, why not, I don't think he's refreshing on me, this guy is, yeah, going expensive, this one is not refreshing, um, this one, I don't really need him anymore, oh, okay, oh, really, you never went cheap on me, huh, here, should I buy more pearls, nah, I think I'll go to the end for pearls instead, Okay, that's it. 
I don't think I'll be touching these guys again. So this one, that one. Okay, cool. Five, five. Five, 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 okay. Five, two, five, two, five, two. So the fire is two, the cartographer is two, the Fletcher is two. The Fletcher is still two. Yeah, Fletcher is two. Where's the farmer? Yeah, you're two. And who else is two? The fisherman is two. Yeah, that's right. And everybody else is up to five. The librarians are five. Mm. Yeah, the cartographer, um, librarian are five, the, this farmer is five, the cartographer is five, farmer, cartographer, um, and then butcher, Mason, Claire. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 minus 3. Yeah, 8. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Librarian, farmer, cartographer. So it will be butcher, mason, cleric, cleric. I mean, I know these clerics are definitely fine. Um, and then it's Mason and Butcher. Where's the Butcher? Okay, you are selling, but your selling is really expensive, so I'm definitely not doing that. I'll wait for it to go down. Photographer is not selling at regular price either. And I don't care about you guys. Okay, good. Um, 11, yeah, 2. Um, so that's a total of yes, 13. Okay, good. Uh, I think I am done with everything in here that I've checked, now that I've checked everything. This is pretty- Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Thankfully I didn't. Alright, hey. I am going to buy some more glass, but this is for a very particular reason. I am going to buy some glass from you, and I'm going to buy some glass from you, and um, yeah, okay. And I'm going to make these into glass bottles. You might be wondering why. This is for the end. But I'm going to the end now. I am done with here. There is nothing I have to do here anymore. So let's just go to the end. Um, so that's again, I have zero blaze rods left because I needed to have those two ender chests and I also needed to um, and I, so I needed to have those ender chests, of course, but I also needed 10 in order to enter. So I, I, that's why I had to get rid of the cleric. I had to assassinate that old cleric. Thankfully, I didn't get one in 27, or else I had to assassinate even more clerics. It's never fun when you have to assassinate people. And I well, obviously wasn't very economical on buying pearls and that stuff. I could have done a better job, but it's fine. But for the first time, we're going to open up this end portal. Take an Eye of Ender, just right-click any of the slots without an eye already in it. And this thing will open up. Jump in. And now we're in the end. Alright, uh, let's just give it some time. It's loading. Alright, cool. So this is our end spawn. This is a pretty good end spawn. We don't have to bridge, we don't have to dig. Sometimes you have to bridge over because you're not connected to the land. Sometimes you have to dig. But the end is very special because, first of all, if you try to sleep in here, it'll explode like the nether. However, unlike the nether, water can actually be placed here. 
The thing with the end is, there is no bedrock at the bottom. There is no limit. If you fall down here, you're going to fall into the void and die. But um, in the end, there's this ender dragon. First of all, let's get ourselves some pearls. So I'm going to turn up the difficulty. So that endermen spawn. And in the end, there are a lot of endermen. And we have a looting sword, so this should be very straightforward. I think if I get like 16, maybe, ender pearls, I'll probably be happy. Um, and this is dragon's breath. So this ender dragon in the sky is going to shoot breath at you. And you can use these bottles to pick it up. And this is why I wanted to bring glass bottles before I came. Because dragon's breath is actually a good potion brewing ingredient apart from being very annoying and you can bottle it up so you can get it out of your way. And this guy dropped one pearl. Not optimal, better than nothing. I'll, I'll take it. I'll keep these bottles in, on my hand. Oh, and um, the dragon is going to the middle to perch. This is uh, like, a, like a dragon behavior thing. He likes to go to the middle to perch, so while that's happening, it gives us a good chance to bottle up even more. Are you gonna... are you gonna spew more? Yes? No? Okay, it doesn't look helpful, I guess. I'll go... what? Excuse me? Are you hitting me? Okay. This guy's hitting me. So I'm not gonna go easy on him. You're dying. Oh, I'm kind of low actually. I think I'm actually going to try and save myself this time. I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen, so let's bottle these guys up first. I didn't want to take the risk this time. Alright, are you just going to stay here and perch forever? Go, go do something else, okay? Oh yeah, okay, alright. Fine. More dragon's breasts. I'll take it. This dragon's getting hit by dragon's breast doesn't actually hurt your armor, so it's completely safe to do it. All right, let's go back to Enderman hunting. I don't even know how I triggered the Enderman. I think I might have looked at one by accident. Remember, if you look at an Enderman, they get angry. I don't know if I talked about this, but okay. Uh, more dragon's breast. All right, that's fine. I don't care. I have glass bottles. Um, alright, uh, please, just let me, okay, boom, 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 really, nothing, come on, boom, 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 alright, that's fine. How many? Three. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. How many now? Six. Okay. Yeah, see, we have looting, so we can get more than one at a time. If you don't have looting, you can only get one Ender Pro at a time. Can't get any more. Okay, Dragon's Breath again. That's fine. We have. We still have bottles. Um, I think that's enough bottles, to be honest. Okay, do I have food on me? No, but actually I think I might start bringing food on me now. Now that I think about it, um, I probably should bring some food on me because um, you never know when it's going to help you. Okay, where do I put this food? I'll put it right here, probably. I probably won't eat a lot of this stuff, but no food is actually um, gonna hurt you. So you see that there's this thing that's connecting the dragon to a tower. I will talk about that probably in the next tutorial, what that's about. But it's not something you have to worry about right now. Next time I'll talk about how to actually kill this dragon, because remember, only by killing it do you beat the game. Right now we're not really killing it, we're just here to get ender pearls. But um, after we get enough pearls, I think we're going to um, start doing that. And that's when we're going to start doing this other stuff. But yeah.
I don't want to tell you too much about that ahead of time. Let's finish up this bottling process. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, okay. We used up our bottles. Nice, okay. Um, okay. Why don't you... Yeah, okay. You're stuck. Give me three pearls. Okay, that's nice. I think that was three. I didn't actually look so. Oh, now we don't have glass bottles. Okay, let me eat another chicken. Okay, you ready? How many? One? Really? Okay, that's kind of sad. Alright guys, stop. Oh, oh my god. Those Endermen are mad at the dragon because they probably got hurt by the dragon's press by accident. Endermen don't shoot at these guys, but sometimes by accident they can. Alright, that's more than enough pearls. So to conclude today's um, tutorial, I'm just going to... Um, actually... Should I? Maybe. Yeah, I'll put this in here for now, but um... Um, I think we should grab just a little more. One more, one more. Boom. Yeah, maybe you too. Okay. Good. Alright, you're very low, huh? Alright, I think that's definitely enough. We are going to put it back to peaceful so these stupid endermen disappear. Here are some free torches in the middle here. Might as well grab them, I mean, because they are free. We don't really need torches. Having and not having torches in the end doesn't really make that much of a difference. Why is there only three? Oh, it's because I had 63 before, and now I have 67. That's why. Yeah, I did grab all four. All right. Um, so, let me see. Is there anything else that I want to do here? For this tutorial and not for the next one not really i think i'm just going to end it here um i guess with that note um have fun i will see you sorry this one was very short but there's not too much to do it's a very transitional one by nature but i'll see you in tutorial number 21 to kill this stupid dragon have fun <laughs>